Hi! In this lesson, we will introduce the main function. Here is a question. Where does our program start? What is the first thing that is executed when we click the Run button? Up until now, our Carol programs start at the top of the program and execute each command line by line from top to bottom. In programming, it is the best practice to include all code within a function, unlike the example here where these statements exist outside of a function. To fix this, we will define a function called main. Inside the main function, we will have the commands we want the program to execute when we run. Before clicking run, we need to make sure we call the main function in our code. The main function is like any other function. We have designated it to be the entry point to our program to help us find where the program starts. So why do we use a main function? One of the reasons we use a main function is for program readability. We want our programs to read like natural language. A reader should be able to look at our code and understand what it does. Our goal is to write programs that look like the code on the right. In the main function, we call a series of functions or short list of commands that make it easier for our program to read and manage. Let's take a look at some more examples. Here we have a Carol program where Carol will build a tower of tennis balls. As you can see, it's a long list of commands, but we don't have the main function yet. If I run this, Carol correctly builds a tower. But let's see if we can make this program easier to read by adding a main function. So I'm going to move the commands down, and then type function main, and with a bracket here. And at the end of the long list, I'm going to put a closing bracket. Great, so if I run this now, oops, you see that nothing happens. Well, that's because we need to call the main function. So always remember to call the functions you define. Now when I run this, Carol builds the tower. Let's highlight these commands and indent them to have proper formatting. And if we look here at the bottom, we have three turn lefts. Well, let's define a turn right function and put those turn lefts in there so it's easier to understand what Carol is doing here at the end. So I'm just going to cut those and put those in our turn right function and format it properly. Now in general, we like to write our custom functions after the main function. So if you're reading the program from top to bottom, you can read the commands in the program in the main function, which will call our custom functions. And then beneath the main function, you can see our custom functions defined like we have here. And so if I run this, Oops, Carol did not turn right. Well, that's because I need to write the turn right command inside the main function as well. So now when I run this, great, Carol builds the tower and turns right at the end.